Right, hello everybody. Welcome to uh, my third game of Blitz Pit. As you can see, it started with a Blitz. And, uh... So... He's managed to get in his guard there. So I'm up against Larkstar with Necromantic. So this was in the loser's bracket. Um, we had both... Won the first game, lost the second one, I think. Um, he's got four guard, a mighty blow... Wolf and attack block tackle wolf. So I really don't like his build, um, to be honest, because he's only got two re rolls and he's only got one claw mighty blow. I think he, you know, I think it's much better to have two block mighty blows. I do like that he had four guard, but I think it's definitely better to have two block mighty wolves. Um, but there you go. Is what it is. I think a mix of his and Dio's team would have been the best uh, on uh, Necromantic team. And then mine was just zero thought. Genuinely zero thought. Zero thought, just spam guard. So um, it makes it quite good for this game, to be fair. Because obviously all my dwarves can actually get 2Ds against all these guard players. Still. I think I'm just going to do a crazy blitz here, aren't I? Rely on Dauntless and rely on getting a POW as well. There you go, that was... <laughs> oh, I didn't rely on Dauntless, did I? Three, six, four, five, yeah, so I didn't rely on Dauntless. Oh, then that gave me a 1D on him. Wow, that was lucky, wasn't it? That was very lucky. So the reason these are... I did do these live, but my microphone was, was, re was really bad, so that's why I'm doing them again. I mean, also the one-minute turns that made it rather frantic, um, and I believe I played music as well because I wasn't I wasn't very happy at the, at this point because this was the third game in a row, so we were both, uh, you know, we were both pretty pretty done by this point. It's it it's it's surprising how hard three games of Blood Bowl, even like you know one-minute turns, consecutively is just it's just hard work. It's tiring and. Uh, Frustrating and everything, so you know, and obviously you've got to think a lot because everyone you're playing is good. So there you go, he gets a cheeky Kaz, instant Kaz, instant Apo because there's no one really better than that on my team. He's just a dwarf with guard. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have let him on his own like that. I wanted to kind of screen him, pressure on the ball, but maybe he could have been here so that it would have been a bit of a frenzy trap at least. Never mind, quite a, quite a lot over here could get. A bit forward. I just seem like he's giving us a lot of space up here. Well, I think maybe I should have uh, not done that. I think maybe I should have blocked with him and then moved him forward. Upon reflection. And I blocked that guy instead of this one, so the, these two I've, I've not been able to swing around, have I? I guess because he hasn't got the movement, I wanted to stop the wolves getting him around the back. Oh, and I wanted a blitz of wolf as well, fair enough. But looking back, maybe I should have got a bit more forward. This was really dumb, because <laughs> I just left a gaping hole, didn't I? That was, even if that hadn't been, even, even if that had been a pal. He still just knocks me over and, and runs through this massive hole. So this was a horrible, horrible turn too. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't even shore it up. Like the, the only reason to not push forward there was to make sure it was shored up here, and I didn't shore it up here. I just did this dumb blitz. So yeah, that was that was really poor play there. <laughs> We've got a wolf 2D in the ball on turn 2. That's uh, it's not good, is it? Not good. I split my team in half for no reason. It's just, it was just horrible. I mean, this is... Uh, what an absolute disaster. Like, the perfect defence didn't even... Didn't even hurt us that much, either. Oh. 
Open the turn with a 1db. Now uh, that I had to, to free this player up. No, no I didn't. Alright. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know what I'm playing at. Oh, I was wanting him in there so I could blitz there. I thought it would chain and ball carry around. Why didn't the chain and ball carry around? What am I thinking at this point? I don't know. <laughs> I must have just been relying. Oh, I guess I've got guard there, right? So I think I was... I think the idea was that the guard next to me will protect me. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's safe to say that, isn't it, Johnny Five? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every turn is like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> but look, lucky it got a stun. Nah. I think I played better in the second half. To be honest. I mean, he's just maximising blocks, isn't he? Not much to say from on Larkstar's point of view. Quitting with Claw. I, I didn't like that. That was a greedy reroll, that, wasn't it? Very greedy. He doesn't have Mighty Blow on that character, and he's only got two rerolls. I think that was a pretty bad play there by him, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, Johnny. <laughs> I don't know why. I remember. I remember being surprised at that when it happened in the game because it just saw out the blue, isn't he? He's already in a good spot, um, kind of pressuring the ball, and he didn't apply more pressure to the ball, did he? he just stayed back, blitzed the guy, and then and wasted the reroll effectively. I was pretty unlucky here because obviously, if that had been a, I'd four dice at him potentially to uh, free up two characters, but only got free up one. <laughs> Fail and knock him over. But you know, the ball can be somewhat safe here, can't it? But now it's just more trying to not to not lose this half, right? Rather than trying to score due, due to due to this bizarre splitting my team for no reason. It's more just about trying to uh trying to not lose this half than trying to score. <laughs> Getting out bashed, I don't believe I've removed anyone, and he's uh, he made that Kaz. So, you know, it's not easy when you mend down and you don't drive as dwarves, but it would have been a lot easier <laughs> if I hadn't uh, if I hadn't just messed up massively. So playing it pretty safe, and again he didn't he didn't pick this guy up, could he could have blitzed with him, but it wouldn't be easy because of the positioning. I see actually he did a good thing here. Because he'd be push, pushing that right, so it would be a frenzy trap. So I actually did a good thing controlling his uh block mighty wolf. And now turn five, I'm going to try I block my route to get forward there. <laughs> so it could have been an extra square forward there, couldn't I? Oh dear me. <laughs> and I blocked his as well, I blocked his path as well. <laughs> so I had to make a G two GFI. <laughs> Probably didn't have to make the second GFI there. There you go. So yeah, but I think I just did it because I had three rerolls, that was the thing. There's an uphill with wrestle is isn't bad, is it? I've managed to get a bit far I mean this is where I should have been on turn three really, at turn two even, and then it's just uh I just messed it all up. Is this an up? <laughs> <laughs> no, this was the blitz pit. One minute. I mean, it was one minute turns, which makes it a bit harder as well, you know. 
and it was the third game in a row so it was uh you know for both of us so it was like you know Darkstar's very good coach this was a nice little chain wasn't it to get into there yeah. Oh, but it was a blitz, so it didn't. It didn't do as much as it could have done. <laughs> when it happened, I, re I remember being very concerned. When I thought, "Oh God, he's got a, he's got a dice in the ball here," but um, it wasn't. He'd already done the blitz. <laughs> so in the end, obviously now I can focus on actually trying to score, but it's still not going to be easy. <laughs> yeah. So I just stand next to him because at the end of the day I've got loads of guard, haven't I? If he, up, if he uphills me, he uphills me. <laughs> Maybe I should have done a more tactical blitz there. To get people forward, but just try to hurt stuff with mighty blow. <laughs> but I mean, this is looking really easy from the stop, isn't it? I just haven't got forward. Got all hard. And he's got all of his players free, well, actually outnumbering me to to get in the way. So looking very difficult to score here. Got his wolf back up. Blitzing with uh, the wrestle. Didn't want to. Didn't want to follow up into a one day from Claw. I guess fair enough. Yeah, this, this is just horrible now, isn't it? This is so hard to get ahead and vaguely protect the ball. Very difficult indeed. Uh, the runner blocked. What the hell? <laughs> oh god, what am I playing at? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just gave up on scoring, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> hey, Bacacas! So that was worth it. <laughs> God. <laughs> This is an absolute, absolute disaster, man. <laughs> what a turn. I mean, it would have had to have been a potato, but still, I was still a potato, better chance than nothing, isn't it? I had the reserve runner, so it wouldn't have even mattered if the runner had died to, like, a wolf or it. <laughs> well, that's the thing, isn't it? The idea was to leave the ball exposed, but then also a threat, so he either blitzes the threat or he blitzes the ball. <laughs> yes, because you have The GFI was right, though, because then he could go... Stops him getting served, and also, if he got powered, he could go three, four, five, six, seven. So it was right to get that, to make that GFI, attempt the GFI. Was the correct play. And as it happened, he hit the ball. Colonel Fat Lad, I don't know. So there's still a chance to score, right? There's still a chance to score, got a reroll for it as well. Put him in the wrong square first, doesn't matter. <laughs> this is just awful. <laughs> Wow. Oh, fail the GFI. 
Lovely. I mean, there's still a vague chance. Four plus three plus. So to have a four plus three plus at the end of that drive <laughs> was pretty amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> it was brutal. That was some very, very suspect player there. But yeah, as I say, you know, pretty shattered after three games in a row. And upset at having lost the previous game to the Blitz. And then after getting that Blitz and then getting this perfect defence. And getting getting out bashed. Two cast to one. It's not surprising getting out bashed really, is it, with even having the claw mighties, but still. And I only had one mighty blow. But still. I think there was a bit of a yeah, fatigue and on both sides. So there you go, successful defence for Larkstar anyway. And I'm down a Garda, and he is down a Garda, and obviously him being down a Garda is a much bigger deal really, because now he's only got three, whereas I've still got eight. <laughs> and we've both still got 11 men. Trying to block with his claw mighty. Maybe he should have done. Cause he has got some guards, hasn't he? Leaving a leaving a zombie a block on the LOS is uh, less than ideal. That was a dream LOS hit for me, wasn't it? Get the hurt derp. Base, base, base now. Presumably. That's <laughs> the first action goes into contact. <laughs> Safe moves first, straight away do the blitz. That's uh... <laughs> Yes, should have all the movements first, shouldn't I? But do I do all the movements first? No, I just do just do the blitz first. Ah, but with it being a, with it being a KO I decided to not go all men's contact, so maybe it wasn't bad to do that because I would have probably based everybody before doing the blitz. Whereas this way, because it was the removal, I decided, you know what, I can just kind of screen here. So maybe it wasn't bad to not do safe moves first. Who knows? That was a nice little chain away there, wasn't it? That was smart play from him. But yeah, I think with having the man advantage, I don't have to turn him over. With it being overtime, I can just try to stop him scoring counter and hopefully win in overtime. Like obviously, it'd be better to turn him over and win in normal time. But it's not like I have to. So I don't have to go all men's contact, do I? I think I can hopefully try to stop him scoring here. Yeah. 
It's a pretty good formation with all the guards around. You know, stop, him, stop him blitzing with the wolves very well. But he does have the stand firm to not get frenzy trapped. Oh, ho, ho. Not really agreed that was it. It was to stop him. Uh, it was to stop him having to dodge away. <laughs> um, which actually, the dodge away would have been a, would have been sixty six percent, whereas the power is only fifty five percent, right? So maybe he was better saving the reroll for the dodge away. Though I guess if you get the power, then you might kill a dwarf, which is pretty good. So now we're going in for the stunned wolf. The stunned wolf means all men's contact. And all these players in here means that it's not a friendly trap. Maybe I should have put him in contact with the uh, fleshy as well. It was Blitz Pit. Hopefully, I'm going to get a link for uh, from Gadani. Oh, oh, the info about it. But yeah, Blitz Pit loses bracket. Uh, game three. Looks like it's not working. I'm going to have to get BZL on the case. So yeah, he's not really advancing, is he? Like, he, I think that was a good turn for him to get the drive under control. Under control? No, to keep the drive alive, say, whatever. You know what I mean? Like He, he couldn't really go forward there, but he protected the ball, didn't he? Um, he kept it. And kept the ball safe. He... Oh, that was clever, wasn't it? Got myself an extra block there. Oh, that was good play. Well done, Jim. <laughs> well fucking done. All the pushes in the world here. <laughs> Finally get the power. Yeah, there is a lot of guard, isn't there? And although he had four, and obviously one was removed. Um, it's, yeah, it's a struggle. It means I'm always going to get the two dice guys down, isn't it? The uh, fleshes. Is he going to potato this turn? I oh, can't really because this is a zombie, not a, <laughs> not a wolf. <laughs> Another ghoul. He's just going to have to try and keep it safe. Can't really push for the score, can he yet? But I've got to be mindful of the breakaway, right? With, with wolves being movement 8. So he takes the ghoul back. That was a two it war one, but he gets the power. And he gets the dodge away. Dirty Dino. I have to put this one, don't I? Surely. I've just got to try and stop the score. That's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, fleshies are pretty annoying. To be fair. The amount of times you push them. <laughs> <laughs> He's way more than normal players. <laughs> well, it feels that way. Anyway. 
l'épée Ce joueur ne bouge plus Est-ce qu'il a fait racine Is it GFI for the uh, for the assist for this runner? Let's see, I've got I've got it, I think. That was a good move him back. Is this worth a reroll? It probably has to. Probably have to reroll this. Yeah, obviously it's a one. <laughs> Maybe I should put him here as well. But get the knockdown. Oh no, because I was going to put him there. No, I don't. I just leave him there. Oh, I don't like that. I should have put him here. I shouldn't have left a three plus dodge. I really should have. I should have put him there. Oh, in fact, he should have assisted from here. And he should have been there. That would have been better. Because he's got a three plus dodge through there. And he's got a three plus dodge away there. So. I don't like that. I left that on though. He hasn't gone for it, Larkstar. I think maybe he should have done. Maybe because he rolled that double skull and used his reroll for the turn is why he didn't do it. But again, that's why you don't do irrelevant blocks first, isn't it? <laughs> it might be a hit on the ball here. Unlikely though, it looks like he's kept it safe still. But it's getting the point where I can almost go after the ball now without having to worry about the uh, wolves punishing me if I fail. Still get the safety back though. Just in case. That guard was great because it protected against the frenzy hit and also it got the assistant for the zombie, didn't it? I really should have moved him there earlier. No excuses for that. And I don't like him going there. I think he should have gone there to make it not leaving the 3 plus dodge out. <laughs> Don't base the ball because there's no fucking point basing the ball. <laughs> Maybe I could have done that. Maybe I could have based the ball there. Because he would have to dodge and it would be a 1 9 to maybe get the win then, wouldn't it? Also, he's got the blitz out with the wolf, hasn't he? Um, he could have double GFI'd. Blitz the wolf down. I think that was his play. That's what he's gone for. But hasn't re rolled it. Which I can understand, being as being he's only got one re roll left. Um, again, weakness of his build wasn't it? only the two re rolls in an overtime format. I don't think there was a way to chain my, my guys forward here. <laughs> well, I mean, I think I, I think I defended quite well. I certainly didn't attack well in the first half, <laughs> but not perfectly. I mean, not perfectly at all. This guy should, you know, there was a few ways I should have defended the walls better. But I think I played all right in the second half. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's definitely not scoring anyway, so I could have. He's gonna. Be, that's why I think I was doing the GFIs, you know, just to potentially have a scoring threat. He's getting cheeky hitting. I mean, he is getting to getting some hits back with the guns of his own, isn't he? 
He's not completely ruined by the guard advantage. So all there is to do is some hits. <laughs> Hope to get lucky. Hope the wolf stays out. That's the biggest thing, isn't it, for overtime, if the, if the wolf stays out. <laughs> All right, so we're in overtime. And the wolf comes back. Boo. On s'y remet. Le carnage peut repartir de plus belle. Les deux équipes sont au coude à coude. Ce morning with Pac-Man. And I won the toss. Good. <laughs> so now, hopefully, I can play better than I did in the first half. <laughs> Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. So it is eleven versus eleven because he made both KO rolls. It's a little bit, little bit disappointing that he made the KO rolls, but do have the hits on the LOS and the Blitz, so hopefully he can get a man advantage. This half. Now that wolf especially would have been huge, wouldn't it? Block, uh, block, claw, mate, blow. It's changing with Blizzard, which probably makes makes me play better. <laughs> I would say because now you know it's it's easy to when you're playing dwarves like you know they're so slow that you think oh, I'll just do a GFI and get them in a much better spot whereas if it's Blizzard you can't even do that can you so it kind of forces you to play a bit better almost a bit like how ogres force you to play well because you've got no rules <laughs> I should have made that a 2 and a 3 somehow. Okay. If it was possible. So, no removals. Oh, I don't like exposing the uh, Troll Slayer, but I guess he's got a mighty blow claw player anyway, so it doesn't even matter, does it? But yeah, <laughs> he does hit the troll slayer. Which uh, you know, I, I don't really like that. I think he could have uh, he could have hit with a wolf, couldn't he? Could have put in two assists, hit with a wolf here. Got out. Oh no, he couldn't have got out then, though, could he? He couldn't have got out because. Uh, You'd have had a dodge, unless you got a Kaz. So no, it makes sense to do that then. So this looks like the kind of classic, bit stupid, um, fight the flesh golem, but <laughs> I was thinking in my head I can one dice this this ghoul, <laughs> which is kind of worth it, isn't it? With tackle, it's not a terrible move, I don't think. The three guard around the fleshy kind of stop him blitzing in the base contact with the ball, I think. And that was my idea. These two. I don't think I needed the third one. Yep, there you go, moved in. These two kind of lock down these three, don't they? And get a cheeky pal. 
in no removal. So that was that was pretty lucky, wasn't it? Dirty dwarf one dice, but I didn't think it was a terrible play. <laughs> It would have been better if he'd been defenceless. Like, if it had been the other one, it would have been much more worth it, wouldn't it? Because it would have been a 3-plus to knock him down instead of a... 4-plus to knock him down instead of a 5-plus. But still, lucky, but it was alright, wasn't it? I thought it was worth it just because it was kind of easy to hurt him. He's got the fleshy hit. Well, hit into the fleshy. Quite good, isn't it? You can hit, take the take the push into the fleshy and then the power into somebody else. But he still hasn't got into contact with the ball, which is all right. That's the main thing. There's a huge reverse on here, isn't there? This looks like a bit of an overcommitment by uh, Larkstar, I would say, down at the side here. Can definitely swing this back around at the centre. He was like my further forward player, he should go as far forward as possible. <laughs> Looks like I'm just going to have to go back to here then. I guess that's what I thought, right? Because with this guy being down, I couldn't really get further forward. So yeah, I just went back to the centre. As much as I would have liked to have pushed down the side of it. I would have liked to have got here, but I just couldn't get there. Could I? So getting here doesn't really achieve a whole lot. Better to stay central if you can. Again, the old. Uh... Oh, wait. Yeah, the extra square he could have hit from here, couldn't he? I don't know if it's going to matter or not. Ooh, he re-rolls re it. His last re-roll. I think that was... I think he's made some rash re-rolls. This game, Larkstar, honestly. He's made some rash re-rolls. Hehehe. <laughs> Yeah, thanks Johnny Five. <laughs> so again, he still he still has left quite a lot this side, hasn't he? He's left four players here. I mean, obviously he couldn't not leave the stun guy there. So now I'm going to try to switch over to this side a bit more. Now he hasn't he hasn't used it that much, to be fair. Um, he hasn't used the claw mighty as much as he would have liked, I'm sure. Maybe this dwarf would have been better going in there. So that's quite good, isn't it? Stranding those two and one dwarf. Quite like that. So next turn, I want to get in scoring range and then score. The turn after. That's the thing, is his, his kind of safety players are really fast, so them being out of position doesn't really matter. But the two fleshies being on one side is pretty good for getting forward, isn't it? That's the main thing. I think I maybe should have done this block first to free him up. 
Could have been two dice with uh, with the assist, would it? I don't know. Maybe I could have done something different. Yeah. Hitting a ghoul is always good, isn't it? I'm willing to give up the surf here. Unfortunately, I'm only seven away instead of six away. So I am one square short. But what can you do as dwarves, really? He's going to go for the 1D to try and free him up to GFI into there or something. Maybe I shouldn't have done. Maybe I should have just stood him up and made it a 2D. Don't know what my plan was there. But he can't really stop us very well here. For that blitz. Maybe he should have maybe he should have gone for the surf. Zombie comes in. And he just leaves him there. Wow. So I really don't like him leaving him there. That's I don't know if he ran out of time. But that's horrible, isn't it, leaving him there. So you might think blitz here. But the thing is, if you blitz, you're only 55% to knock him down. And if you push him, you've got a 4 plus 3 plus to dodge. So I think the best player was definitely just 3 plus block him. With, uh, just one dice with this guy. Because if it fails, I've still got the still got the blitz with a ball carrier, and then luckily got the knockdown. So now GFI to score and win on turn twenty two, Johnny Five, not turn twenty four. GFI in the blizzard works. <laughs> so yeah, it was a tough game. I mean, I really blew it first half. I made so many mistakes first half. And I think second half I played all right, um, and obviously over time played all right. But won the toss. If he had won the toss, he'd have probably won, wouldn't he, the next time? So it's just the way the cookie crumbles. I probably had the better luck, and that's usually what's going to happen in these games. Whoever whoever gets the better luck is probably going to win. Ninety-two blocks I made and made one one cast. <laughs> Ninety-two blocks, but then it is yeah, it was three halves. But that's still like sixty in a normal game, isn't it? Um. So yeah, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that most of the games are going to be whoever's lucky who wins because, you know, there's not a lot between how good all the players are. And obviously there, there can be horrible errors like some people make in some games. You know, everyone makes errors, don't they? So there's sometimes horrific errors that can decide it. But I think most of the play is going to be pretty similar. So it's just mostly going to come down to luck and, uh, as to who wins. All right, so there you go. And team matchups and everything. Um... Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.